Welcome back to another post game of the series between Montreal Canadian and the Toronto Maple Leaf game number three. And we're going to do the pregame of the game number four between both teams. So don't go nowhere. Welcome back to another special edition of the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is your hockey coach, Guru. Code Frenchy back in the house uh, to talk about the post game, uh, game number three between Montreal and Toronto. And also, we're going to do the pre game number four. So it's going to be a little bit longer today, but hopefully, we're going to give you all the information about what's going on between both teams. And of course, uh, yesterday, the Toronto Maple Leaf uh, beat the Montreal Canadiens by a score of 2 1 and take in charge and lead the series now after three games. Two to one. So let's dive in right away on the score sheet of the game. And um, let's start right away here. Uh, first, of, first of all, 2 1 for the Toronto Maple Leaf. No goals during the first period. Montreal get right away at the beginning of the game uh, a power play of four minutes with Alex Galchinak, high sick Brendan Gallagher, got caught, caught in the face. And uh, Montreal have zero. Shot, you understand and you hear me. Zero shot for the four minute, and that's what make a big difference. Montreal cannot score. Montreal had no offense. Montreal struggled to put a puck behind the net of Jack Campbell, and that's the reason they are losing again yesterday. After one period, Toronto also have a power play, did not score. Both teams have a zero goal yesterday on power play. They struggled since the beginning of that series. The shot was 7-6 advantage Toronto. Not many chance. Um, other effect, an amazing great save of Gary Price on the shot of Jason Spisa on the back door after a great pass of William Nellanders. And Gary Sp- Price diving stop with the stick um, on the extremist and make a big save. And that's keep the score 0-0 zero, zero after one. During second period, again, for the second game, back-to-back, net domination of the Toronto Maple Leaf. 20 shot on Carey Price, and that pay off because he scored two goals and lead after two, 2-1. Two, First, a 7-18, uh, uh, William Nellander, after the um, care foot, went the face off. Nellander moved on the right side, in the middle of the ice, wrist shot, hit the post and go inside behind Carey Price, give the lead to the Toronto 1-0 at 7-18. But six minutes later, Nick Suzuki, his first goal of the series with a great wrist shot between the arm of the right arm and the blocker of the Jack Campbell. Tie the game 1-1. Perry and Tata got their first point of the series at 13-56. But we don't have to wait a little bit longer because three minutes later, Morgan Riley again, another, another face-off win for Toronto. And uh, Morgan Riley come back after a great pass D to D from DJ Brody. Uh, Riley come to the left side of Carey Price. And Carey Price could not see Morgan uh, Riley because uh, he was screened by Joel Edmondson. Have a great wrist shot. Uh, on the top shell, gave the lead for Mont- Toronto by one goal. It was uh, good enough to win that game 2-1. Manor and Brody got an, an assist on that one. It was the third point of Manor during that series. Um, at 16-35, uh, after two, 27 shots versus 14 for Toronto. Again, like I said, 20 versus 8 that period. Completely against Montreal. But during the third period, no goal. But the Montreal dominate 15-2 on shot, but he cannot find a way to score. Great opportunities all the time. I'll be honest with you. Uh, Suzuki, Toffoli, Anderson, uh, Caulfield, crossbar, could not put a puck behind Jack Campbell. We have to give him credit. He have a great, solid game against Montreal. Net dominations are in third period. Power play Montreal, power play Toronto. They cannot do anything. And it was the end of the, of the game by a score of the 2-1 for Toronto. And it was winning the second game of the three 
uh, game, and that was now lead the series two to one. Um, also, want to mention, let's go div- diving a little bit more about the set of the game. First, 29 shot both teams, 50 50 face up, pretty even. 0 4 Montreal, 0 3 Toronto, and power play hit 37 versus 28 advantage Montreal Canadian. Black shot Canadian 14, Maple Leaf 17. Minute penalty Montreal 12, Toronto 10. Giveaway Toronto Maple Leaf 9, and Montreal Canadian 13. The lead of the night for each team. Morgan Riley have one goal, the winning goal of the game. Aston Matthew shot six times on Carey Price with zero goal. Mitch Bonner again, TOI of 24-25 for the Toronto. And finally, Jack Campbell have a save percentage of 966 with stop 28 of the 29 shot he faced tonight against Montreal. For the, for the Montreal Canadiens, Nick Zuzki scored the only goal for the Montreal. Jeff Petrie shot four times on Jeff Jack Campbell. Uh, Weber Play 24-51, um, TOI for the Montreal finale. Carey Price, save percentage of 9-3-1. Stop 27 of the 29 shot he faced tonight against the Toronto Maple Leafs. The three star of the game. Let's start with the third star from the Toronto Maple Leaf. William Nalander, one goal, one point with two shots on Carey Price. This is second star of the game from the Montreal Canadiens. The goaltender, Carey Price, uh, save percentage of 9.37. And finally, the first star from the Toronto Maple Leaf, uh, Morgan Riley. One goal, uh, the goal winner of the game. Three shots on Carey Price, one point. Great performance of Morgan Riley. Very solid in front the, uh, for the Toronto Maple Leaf. So that's concluded the post game, the game number three between Toronto and Montreal. Don't forget, we're going to be live stream for the game number four. Tonight at 7.15, pre-game between both teams. That will be ready for the game number four. Big game for both teams. They have to step up. They have to be ready. So let's dive in for the pre-game. What's happening between uh, Montreal and Toronto? First of all, the record 1-2 Montreal, 2-1 Toronto. The goals 8 Toronto, 4 Montreal. The shot 99 Toronto, 82 Montreal. The power play 2-14 for Toronto. 0 and 9, they're still looking for one goal for, Tor- for Montreal finale. Minute penalty, 49 for the Toronto, uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. And we have uh, 39 for the Toronto Maple Leaf. Uh, let's dive in a bit more the number. Uh, you can see at the, at the top of that, sh- of that uh, graphic, I'm not going to go one by one. You can see uh, home and away. But the power play Montreal 16, the last team and the uh, Round number one for all the team in NHL, they are zero yet, no goal. Toronto are 13, 14.3. The penalty kill, Montreal are six in NHL, 85.7. Of course, Toronto is number one with, with 100%. The goals for Montreal, the bottom of the bottom, 1.33. Toronto is 14 at 2.67. The goal again, and Toronto is number one, and that Montreal is number seven. The shot for uh, Montreal is 15, and Toronto is 11. Shot again, Montreal is 6, and Toronto is second. The leader of both teams, let's start with Toronto. William Nellander so far has four points. He lead with a goal with three, and uh, goaltender Jack Campbell have two W, and Mitch Manor played the most minute on the ice at 24-53. For the Montreal Canadian, Tyler Toffoli have two points. Biron, Suzuki, Anderson... Um, are the one score for the Montreal Canadiens. And finally, Carey Price have only one W. The most minute play by any player for the Montreal Canadiens. Of course, we have to go with Shea Weber at 23-14. It's time for the sharpen up. Uh, what you need to know very quickly. You already know what's going on. Top one confirmed. Price versus Campbell again for the fourth time. Take a note, the game starts at 7.30 in Montreal. The last five games, of course, Montreal is 0-9 on power play. PK 2-13. Price is 2.42 and a save percentage of 9-2-9. and 9. 240 have two points to ski, one goal, 242 po- assists, P3 is plus 3. And again, I'm not trying to change the strategy of the game again. 
Toronto. The only thing we need to be sure Montreal do a better job is to score on special team on power play. Without this, it's not going to happen. And of course, they need to score three goals. Can you do that, Montreal? Jeez. And finally, don't forget, the next game is going to be uh, game number five. It's going to be in Toronto Thursday night at 7 o'clock. And I'm going to see you. Of course, we're going to be live streaming the, again that game. And I just want to remind you tonight, pregame, 7.15. The Montreal, we're going to the pregame show. And then we're going to the live stream. This is the only game we do tonight at the Hockey Nation Live show. We have a pregame live stream game, and then post game. And then we're going to go to see Frank Well to talking about the game and the French side of, of the people in Quebec. So thanks again to watching the Hockey Nation live show for another great video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also Facebook page and like this video. Comments, please. Let's share in. Let's tell me what will be the final score of that game today and what do you think about the Montreal Canadiens going to do tonight. So... Look forward to see you next time. And like we do at the end of each video, I just want to remind you one more thing. You have what, coach? You have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day. Bonjour, mes amis. On se reparle un peu plus tard. <laughs>